corn, guys. You hear that? <clears throat> Just now it started raining. It's uh, 10 minutes to 4. And this started raining. <laughs> we had to, we got up early. I had, uh, I, I can't sleep long. <clears throat> My mind gets to working. You know, y'all ever do that? Your mind gets to working. I was thinking back when uh, Dad, my dad first was telling me about uh, this gospel of salvation through Paul's writings. He was trying to. And I remember the day he sat out there in the, in the backyard of their home and he said, he said, son, I want you to think about something. Okay. <clears throat> he said in the in Genesis. He said, Did, "What if the word the was wrong in there, and God didn't? It shouldn't be in the beginning, but in a beginning." And he said, "You know, God has started <clears throat> and finished." God has many beginnings of things that he has done and accomplished. And this is another, this is a beginning. This is another beginning of creation. This is, humanity is something else. And I pondered that for a little bit. And I, well, okay. <laughs> you know, it didn't, it didn't, Either way, either way, it wasn't that. And we, he, I remember he talked there for a while, but that, that got me to, to wondering about it. But not enough that I really wanted to pursue it. And that was in 1985. Uh, I found, I got the first Bible. My first King, this is a King James that I, I got because of that and I <clears throat> I got it and I I tried to read it it didn't make any sense you know it's, it was just a, just a King James and it said Holy Bible on it some uh, and I thought well that'll get me you know that'll get me to my life right with God and all that and he gave me this book this book <clears throat> and I looked at it and I thought man that's a lot of reading <laughs> that's a lot of reading and I hated to read you know God's the only purpose and I just Recently got this out last last uh, year. I got this out last fall, and I seen that inside the inside the cover, he had wrote something for me. <clears throat> Says to my son Mike with love. I hope you will read each page carefully, for I am sure it is true. With love, your dad. <clears throat> God's Eonian Purpose, A. E. Loudy. I didn't read it. 1985. I've had this truth and wasn't interested. Didn't didn't uh, I mean didn't mean anything to me. All right, I had other things to pursue. I had uh, life to pursue. You know, I had things to buy and and girls to get to know. You know, 80, 85, I graduated in seventy four, nineteen seventy four. You know, I was 
<clears throat> having having things going on in my life, and I had no time for learning about God. You know, we'd been in the worldwide church for years, and and uh, we we got out of that. Dad managed to get us kicked out of that by asking questions. Uh, Seventy two, I think it was, maybe somewhere in there, nineteen seventy two. But asking questions, you know, and the church leaders told him, "No, you don't ask the questions. We know what the scripture says, and we know what the Bible says, and we'll tell you." And uh, you know, he was asking about this other gospel he's seen in Paul's writing, <laughs> and they taught mostly from the from the Old Testament. <clears throat> this right here, this this word. You know, I was. <laughs> it's new to me, fairly new to me. The word uh, justification, and right here on page one sixty nine of this book, I want to I want to read this to you if I got time. Uh, it says, "Christ died for sinners." On one, and then the other side it says, "God's Son died for enemies." On the uh, Christ died for sinners, it says, yet God is rec is recommending this love of his to us, seeing that when we were still sinners, Christ died for our sakes. Romans 5, 8. And the God's Son died for our enemies, for enemies, it says, for if being enemies, we were conciliated to God through the death of His Son. Much rather, being conciliated, we shall be saved in His life. Romans 5.10 Conciliation, love, and peace is that one. He died for sinners, the justification, righteousness, and salvation. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, To me, it start, it's coming together really, uh, really strong. And this <laughs> this book, this book is, is just awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a good read. It's a good read, you know. Listen, it says many believers have never known the stability, the solid satisfaction, the exalted joy which justification itself cannot produce, but which comes to those who use the way God has provided, Christ Jesus, not only to unburden their sins, but as a road leading to his very presence, giving admission to their, or to this far greater grace, the reconciliation. Justification flows from that which God has, has done, into the basis of peace it's what he is we point to the deliverance which is in Christ Jesus as the ground of our justification righteousness and salvation but but we must look up to the Son of God exalted to the highest glory beyond the reach of death and to God himself whose image he is and find in him the living, heart-satisfying, everlasting ground of conciliation, love, and peace. <laughs> the Son of God, through the same person as Christ, presents him in a distinct, exalted light. The Messiah is a man who can. He is the power of God. His strong right arm his anointing fits him to do things the son of God speaks not so much of God's ex executive as his image what God is shines forth in him dwelling in the bosom of the father he reveals his affections towards his creatures <laughs> This is a neat book. 
uh, I'd encourage you to look it up and find it. God's the only purpose. Uh, I don't have the website that you can get that. <clears throat> Dad gave that to me in 1985. And I never opened it up. I, I did, I skimmed, I flipped through the pages and called it too much for me. And there it was. So, last fall, my mind started changing. It started seeing things. <laughs> and just so you know, it's, it's been a it's been a blessing. It's been a, an eye opener that is un for me. It's just unbelievable that what is has been in front of me all this time, and finally my eyes have been opened to the truth. You know, it's a peaceful feeling. You get the peace that that you don't find in the church you know they pound the pulpits trying to get you to confess your sins and come forward when in reality Jesus Christ is taking care of all sin at the cross God conciliated himself to the world when Jesus died and was rose from among the dead three days later by his father and was seen by multitudes of people and he will come again he's, he's, he's going to come again it's coming and he's coming for his body the members of the body of Christ What joy that's going to be, you know? To be rid of this body of humiliation that we have, of this thing that's falling apart and got the diseases in it of the world. Uh, to be rid of all that, you know? To be like Christ. To have the glorious body and in an instant, you know, we'll travel in the speed of thought. It's going to be awesome. I just wanted y'all to know that it's been on my mind this morning early to share that because it's all in God's timing. I'm here because of God's timing. In 2012, when they opened me up for cancer, they told my wife I might have two years of quality life left. But guess what? <laughs> that wasn't God's the only purpose for me. That wasn't God's plan. Isn't that awesome? You know, the chemo stopped working. <clears throat> they had no hope. They, you know, better get your affairs in order, Mr. Knotts. I have joy in my life. I've got, I love life. There's, I don't get down. I, I don't. So, anyway, it's good morning. The coffee's done. It's raining. It sounds good out here on this tin roof. So, you guys have a fantastic day.